no top 100 players. We're not going to spend a ton of time on this. I know that this came out a couple days. We haven't had the chance to get to it yet. I know people get worked up, Spence, about this. You talked about it on the heavyweights. Mm-hmm. Where, where were the people at with that? They, they were kind of in agreement that, you know, you look at that team last year and nobody really deserved to be in the top 100. I think if Ragnar was healthy and played all season, he would have been in there for sure. But you go through that roster, and my case was the only person on that roster that could have cracked the top 100 with what they did last year was Sewell. Amani. Amani oh, yeah, Omari, yeah. you know what? He, he, he had the third best uh, quarterback rating against, he had the third most picks in the NFL. He only gave up 2.7 receptions per game and 34.6 receiving yards per game. So, like. He had a great season. As usual, I'm a forward thinker, fellas. When the Lions finish this season, they will have two people, possibly three, on that top 100 list. Frank Ragnow, if he stays healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, Amon Ross St. Brown. And and I say that because his father is going to push him to be great. And then uh, what about Aiden Hutchinson? Panay Sewell. Gold jacket loading, everybody. Yeah, he's going to take a, t- a little time to develop, but he could be on there too. Gold jacket loading at either position. It doesn't even matter what side tackle he plays. Is That's how good he is. Golden jacket or not? I'm not prepared to rule on that right now. Ooh, but you're ready to rule on Panay Su, who's not yes, playing his position. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. He's still dominant. Okay. So there, he came. Th- see, this is another one of those guys. I think that when you go back and you look, if the fortunes of this franchise change, which I, I say they are, I think a lot of you are in agreement they will, that's going to be the guy, I think, because he changed an offensive line. Is that fair to say? Like the, like the Ragnow and the Decker and the things like that? I think the arrival of Sewell changed an entire offensive line, changed the way an offensive line is perceived, changed the running game, changed it all. I mean, I agree, oh. but you know what's going to happen eight years from now? I, I'm going to be on Big D Energy. You're going to say, hey, I'm Neil Rule for Big D Energy. Me and T. Foss have a disagreement. I say Penny Sewell makes too much money. <laughs> Release his ass. Because it's all about the finances. <laughs> T. Foss says, hey, he's a great player. He should stay. Making too much money. You know, you, you know, you and your little... Let's save a couple, you know, nickels here and there. You're gonna save want, a couple nickels. You, you're going to want Panay Sewell released because he's going to want to get paid.